Welcome to That's English. Hello. Today, our topic is education. You know, the most extraordinary thing about British education is that there are so many different types of school. Yes, it's true. Listen to these six people. We asked them this question. What type of school did you go to? I went to a grammar school and then came here to study at Cambridge University. My education started off in a primary school and it went to infants, juniors, secondary and I plan on going to college. I was at a pr private preparatory school, then a, a public school which of course are not public <laughs> and then when I came out of the army at the end of the war I was at Cambridge. I went to a comprehensive school, I'm now at university and I'm studying management studies and economics. I had a convent education, um, leaving, I suppose, 14, 15 year old. When I was very young, I went to a kindergarten in Africa. In Britain, I went to primary school, then I went to grammar school, and then I came to London to go to university, to University College, which was the first university to accept women and people of any religion. There were some types that you may not have heard of before. Preparatory school, or prep school, is a private school for children between the ages of 7 and 13. A convent school is a school run by the church. Convent schools are usually Catholic. Kindergarten and nursery schools are schools for children under the age of 5. We also asked people did you enjoy your education? But I think that my best memories come from when I was at school. I met a lot of good friends there and I learnt a lot as well. I went to the same school from age 8 to 18, which is quite unusual, I think. And then I went to university. I went to Oxford, actually. I really enjoyed it. I had a great time. I made lots of friends and I played lots of sport, which I really like. I went to boarding school, which, um, which is a private education, and which means that I lived at the school um, during the term time, and it was a long way from home, but I loved it. It was great fun. Well, they all had a wonderful time, didn't they? I myself don't like the idea of boarding schools, internados. I think it's wrong to send children away from home. Well, I went to a boarding school. It was a convent, actually. Single sex, no boys. Marvellous. The education was wonderful, and we didn't have to worry about boyfriends. Hmm, doesn't sound much fun to me. But there are always arguments in Britain about the best type of education for children. Yes. Recently, there's been a lot of controversy, polemica, about the national curriculum, el currículo oficial. Y existe un organismo encargado de su elaboración, the National Curriculum Council. Rebellious subjects, enemies to peace. At the moment, Shakespeare is just about the only work of literature schools must teach by law, but the proposals drawn up by the National Curriculum Council mean schools will have a whole range of books, plays and poems defined for them. In secondary schools, younger children must choose from a range of plays, such as Pygmalion, fiction predating 1900, like Treasure Island, and more modern works, such as Golding's Lord of the Flies. Older children will get their teeth into plays like Arthur Miller's Death of a Salesman, or fiction such as Pride and Prejudice. One of the key objectives of the revised proposals is to ensure that our children do read widely, that they read a wide range of literature, of poetry, of drama, that they're introduced progressively to more demanding texts, that they are introduced to texts of central importance to our literary heritage. But it's the emphasis on standard English, such as speaking correctly, which is causing most controversy. Now, standard English is the correct use of vocabulary and grammar. We're talking about things that, for example, he ain't right, we was robbed, are not correct English. No, he ain't right is not correct English. It's a very colloquial expression for, he isn't right. But if you've been to Britain, or if you've met British people in other countries, you've probably heard expressions like that. 
It's best not to say ain't, but you have to understand it because lots of British people use the word. So, that's one controversy. How important is it to teach children correct English? There have always been controversies in education. In the 1890s, there was an important Education Act, Ley de Educación. Many people disagreed with it. 